Hey my loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. For today, I've got you some leg sculpting Pilates routine. By doing this, you can achieve long lean muscles in your legs. And for this, all you just need is a mat and yourself. And once you're ready, let's get started. So for this circuit, you're going to be on all fours completely. So make sure you're comfortable, your hands right underneath the shoulder blades, your knees are hip distance apart and make sure you pull the ab in as tight as you can. And let's start out with a stretch. So we're going in for our cat and cow. As you look up to the sky and arch your back as you hunch. So up, inhale and down as you exhale. So let's start out with a circuit. We're going to start working on your left leg first. You're going to take it up and you're going to point your feet and flex it. Point it, flex it, point it, flex it. Make sure your abs are nice and tight, pulled into the spine. And now you're going to press your leg up to the sky. Your foot is remain pointed and you're going to give small pulses working on the glutes. And now we are going to press it down and up. So take it down, tap the mat and up. Make sure you don't bend your knee. The knee is nice and straight. Extend your leg as much as you can. In that way, you're creating space for long lean muscles. So when you are working your glutes, I want you to keep in mind that your upper body is nice and stiff. Make sure you bring it under control. I don't want you to move or waddle your upper body. You're just working on your lower body. So keep that in mind. Just that one leg which is opening right now. You're just currently working only on that. And your entire body is nice and stiff. So for the next glute work, I want you to open your knee in line to your hip like so. And you're going to drop it down. So make sure your knee doesn't touch the mat every time you drop it down. Just keep it in air so that you're building more tension as you open and close. And make sure your knee is aligned to your hip. So that's really important. Try to open as much as you can. And the breathing for this move is you're going to exhale open, inhale down, exhale open, inhale down. Make sure the flow is right in sync with your move. And I want you to take your time in each open that you do. Open as much as you can and that way your glute is firing up and your booty is working as well. Just a couple of more on this and we are moving for a little stretch to ease out. We are going in for the cat and cow stretch. For this, I want your knees down and I want you to slowly arch your back as you look up to the sky, stretching for your neck as you curl it in, hunching your back, reaching that spine to the sky. And let's move on with the same leg. I want you to extend it this time, point your feet and swing it and place it to the inside and swing it and place it to the outside. So in, swing up, out. So the breathing is exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down back again. So this is a move great to tone your leg. It's great for that extension and really working on your glutes and toning your lower body. Just keep pushing through. I hope you are still sticking along with me without collapsing on this side. Just a couple of more and then we're moving on to the next one on the same leg as you bring your knee in. Just ease out for a couple of seconds as we are going in for our scorpion pike. I want you to tuck your knee in towards your chin as you pike it out. Okay, so in crunch and up. Okay, make sure the toe is pointed as you pulse your leg up and your knee is bent so keep these in mind so 
So this is one of my favorite moves uh, because you're working on multiple parts of your body, your leg, your booty, as well as your core. So make sure you hold your core tight. As I told you, keep that body stiff, keep your upper body nice and stiff. Plant your hands down onto the mat as much as you can, controlling your body as you go in for the pipe and holding it up for a couple of seconds and just drop down ease off the move great job i really hope that you felt it let's move on for a quick stretch we're going in for the butt wiggle as you wiggle yourself left to right easing off that stress built up on your lower back the last move on to your left side for this i want you to extend your foot to the side like so make sure you point your foot throughout and the move is you're just going to curl it in and kick it out so in and out you can touch the floor if you want to but the preference is not to touch the floor so that you're holding on to the glute nice and tight so make sure you bring it in and extend it out okay try to lengthen your leg as much as you can working through the glute Also note that you will be able to feel the pressure built up on your right leg as well because your entire body is rested on your right side. So it's completely normal to feel that pressure on your right leg, which is good, which is good for toning. move on to the side open as you bend your knee in line to your hip so make sure that right leg is in line to your right hip as you open it to the same level great for toning your outer glutes also your left leg would be feeling the pressure as well because your entire weight is rested there and it did a lot of work for the previous circuit so it's completely normal And last one and drop down and relax moving on extensions I want to extend your leg point your foot swing it in and out so in and out for this move your body may be swaying a lot than it usually does but make sure you don't do that keep that upper body nice and stiff and control this move to feel the pressure at right point and collapse the leg just march your knee out for a quick ease and we are moving on to the next one which is the scorpion pike for this i want you to crunch your knee in towards your chest as you pike it up point your toe so in and up so as you inhale in you're exhaling it up try to lengthen through your leg 
working on the glute your booty as well as your core so everything is in work So two more of these crunches and we are going in for some pulses. As you hold your foot up, you're going to press, 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 giving tiny pulses up to the sky. So we have come to the last move for this leg sculpting circuit. For this, I want you to extend your right foot out to the side like so. Bend your knee and extend it out back again. Make sure the toe is pointed. You can even touch the floor if you want to, which is completely optional and it's, it's your own preference. But I would recommend you to keep it up, holding it, controlling your body. And great job if you sticked along and completed this circuit along with me. We're going in for a little cool down as you tuck your right hand underneath your left side of the body as you look up and gaze to the sky. Feeling that beautiful stretch on your mid back and your lower back. Back to the center, let's switch and do the same on the other side. Let's finish off with some child's pose as you extend your arms right in front of you, flexing your foot and sitting back on your legs. Try to march your hands in front as much as you can. Try to lengthen your body from your spine, easing off and unwinding yourself. Thank you so much for working out along with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this leg sculpting circuit. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming your way. Until next time, stay fit, healthy and happy.